Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today the boss next tone again. And when I say again, I think it's really important to talk about this amp because I think it's one of the most underrated amps in the market. Um, boss delivered this. Uh, it's a huge box. This is a Nexon Special. It has 80 watts max output. Really, really loud. It's not very heavy. Will it chug? Well, not from factory. No, it will not chug from factory. But with the editor, you can make it like I did. I'll pop up some card here so you can see it simulating a Mesa boogie on a video I made but I just did a reset on this amp full reset which is pretty easy to do basically you just hold the panel button down and turn it on and boom everything's gone and I also noticed every patch was also gone from my library so um, if you do that please um, do save the patches before or export the patches before do a, a complete reset i don't know if in the katana this happens as well but i believe the patches stay there at least in librarian not on this one now it has some limitations three channels you can actually double the channels with the panel you cannot do that and um but it has very straightforward two channels see on the second camera here hope you guys can see it hope it's in focus and stuff like that so you pretty much have a clean channel on top and then the lead channel on bottom and the controls are pretty much basically the same you have bass middle and treble for the clean channel uh, boost and then boost for each channel and then delay and reverb um, then you have custom tune bottom and top these knobs work counterclockwise when you turn them up in the case of the bottom end you take bass uh, same thing with um, kind of in a vox when you counter counter clock when you when you clockwise the top it will take um i am all right then there's a presence the then there are the tubes the power amp tubes that you can select they are very active and they do work although i can say it capturing with the microphone then into the dot i'm doing right now with no post processing effects uh it's not as natural as transparent as, as you can hear it in the room and since I don't have a decent pair of microphones to put it here in the room, probably you cannot hear the difference. But uh, if you want to do a test, a very simple test, and make it like um, really hear the difference, just connect an overdrive pedal in front of this amp, clean channel, lead channel, doesn't matter, or a pedal board uh, on the back, and then you'll see, the, you can hear it totally very well defined all the differences. Then you have a solo section at the end for each channel. Then you have master and then uh you know one two three tone settings the patches that you have and then max the control power control i mean on the clean channel you also have one small button that engages brightness call it tone you also have extra headroom for the clean channel and you also have another tone on the lead channel now on the lead channel this tone actually does the reverse uh, then on the clean channel on the clean channel it increases the top end on the lead channel decreases it okay so basically everything at noon uh, uh, forgot to mention you also have an, equ an equalizer the american and british style let's start with american more towards a fender amp and now i'm using the les paul i will use another guitar in another video probably a fender uh with this same amp okay <laughs> Also, I'm capturing this with the, you guys can see on the camera, Sennheiser E906 into Logic, into my UED Apollo Bears. There's no coloration of preamps or stuff like that. Okay, now if I engage the reverb, it's already engaged and you cannot change the reverb as well. That's the downside on the amp. It's the red light that is there. It's not like on the Katana you have three reverbs. You have lots of different reverbs there as well. But there's only one assigned here and you can only turn it on or off. Now, with a bit of reverb at noon, if we add some tone sound here. I think this is a hall reverb, I believe. Okay, if I max it out.
can really hear it. Then you have a delay, okay? If I engage it, press here, engage it, and a tap tempo function. Once again, I don't know what kind of delay is there a sign. More delay, less tempo. You know, also, very important thing is the fact that there's a lot of control, a lot of stuff here to control in Boss Tone Studio. Uh, for the the, the next one special, especially on the power amp on the power amp section, because you just don't change the tubes, you also change the EQ of these tubes and a lot of other parameters that give you access to a lot of tones that just the katana the next one I'm sorry just doesn't bring from from factory. It brings two two it brings three presets, but they are all kind of in a clean channel, so not really interesting. So let's go. Uh, and turn down our delay and then change to our British channel. Next pick up British channel. Next pick up American channel. Less heavy on the mid, like you would expect. But let's try to dial some, some cool tone here. I'm going to use the, the American channel. Reduce the, ba the the middle a little bit. The treble a little bit. I'm gonna give some reverb to it. Some delay. Now, bottom end. If you go that way, it will take out. This amp is like really can do anything if you want it to, you know? Uh, and that's the beauty of it. Now, this is increasing the bottom end. I don't want a such thing, so... And, and right now, I'm taking high end as well. This amp can really emulate any classic amp and any modern amp. I like the way it is. Presence, it's there. Now, if I change to 6L6s, it's difficult to hear on the recording. But I've lost some bass. EL-84. More overall body. EL-834. More peaking attack. Something like that. British Channel. Let's stay on the British. With EL-834. So for me, this is more than enough of a clean channel. Not to mention that this is a great clean platform for any kind of pedal. Best one boss has. There's so much adworm on this amp, so much good clean channel, you know. And it's only at 20 watts and it's really loud here on the computer as recording as well. You guys see the guitar? All right, let's go to our lead channel and disengage both the reverb and the delay just by turning down the knobs. Hope you guys can see it. And by clicking channel select and everything is at noon. Now, I did not engage because I think it's always off from the fault, from factory default, the noise reduction. So there's quite a bit, quite a bit of noise. And it's really loud, so I'm gonna put it a little bit, tame it a little bit. All right. Now the tone knob here actually decreases when you engage it the IN. Well, so on the bridge pickup, everything is at noon, and we are. Let's go for EL 34s on the British Channel. There's some crispiness to that uh, crunch that you cannot find on the Boss Katana. Like I said before, it's the closest thing for me, at least, that you can have closest thing to a real tube amp without the maintenance, without the costs of having a tube amp, the weight, you know, uh, a lot of stuff without the fact that you don't have effects, probably. You have everything here. So we are with the game 
Basically, at noon, if I take it down a little bit, or all, I still have distortion, and I'm going to increase my volume here on the bridge pickup. A very kind of edge of breakup tone, right? All right, so let me put this at noon again and take out a little bit. So I'm going to engage the tone control so it'll take out a little bit of top end. With and now without. If I engage it, more muffled. Okay, and I'm going to take some mids here or leave it as it is. Okay, you're just going to engage my boost as it is. There's a boost pedal. I didn't engage it on the clean channel because I just wanted to hear the clean channel, not with a boost. Now, the way this amp comes from factory, you cannot expect it to chug or do metal and stuff like that. You really need to go into the editor. So if you're buying this amp with the attitude that you're not going actually to use the Boss Nexon editor, you might just use the, you know, to update the amp firmware and stuff like that, but not actually. So forget about metal tones and stuff like that. Use a pedal outside and not have the same effect. Because just with the amp itself, it's very hard to achieve the, those tones, okay? So I can demo that for you. We are in the British channel. If I take some mids, you know, and if I increase increase uh, the, um, the boost, because I don't even know what boost is being used, okay? And there's noise here, and I do some palm mute stuff. Very far from that metal tone that you want. Now, changing the tubes to ELA 84, doesn't change too much. 6L6, less bass, and 6V6s. We want more crisp, but you won't get that, okay? So, bear that, have that in mind when purchasing this amp. If you're a guy into more of classic rock blues and stuff, then you don't need to do anything. This amp will be more than perfect. And it's already about 14 minutes. I don't want to be, make videos that long. Let's disengage our boost and try out um, to take some bottom hand, also some high hand. Okay, and increase our lead gain to, to max. It's so pleasant, this distortion is actually like you're playing through kind of a martial tone or something like that, very, very detailed. You know, you have really something special going on here. Now, with some reverb and giving it some more top end, anti-clockwise. Okay, too much high end for me. Let me take it out, like so, here on the top. Flubby tone, you take out some bass, increase a little bit the volume. Straight out of the box, those classic vintage rock tones, you have them here. On the neck pickup. is going out of tune like a Les Paul should do. It's the only way you verify it's authentic. So back down the gain a little bit, increase the, re the reverb down there. The soul is a G-string. Then when you're when you notice everything's out of tune, so I have to tune this guitar really fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now it's better, better keep the tuner here on the hat. Let's go for the American channel. Quite a difference, huh? Back to the British Channel. I like, really like the British Channel, and then add some boost to it. Kind of an unknown. Uh, turn around the different tubes. Okay, next we come. Back down our reverb. The noise is normal. Let's go to EL8. EL84. Sounds so good, man, here in the room. Much darker now on six and sixes. Let's go to six V sixes. Again, different tone. If I put a graphic EQ, you can clearly see it and hear it. Let's go to our EL34 and add some delay on top of this. You know. Less gain, less boost, less top end, a little bit more volume, less gain here. Such a full tone that you have here in terms of bass and warmth, that's incredible. Let's take out some bottom end as well because it's just too much. Just for fun, max out the gain on the lead channel and also increase the boost. A lot of noise here. It comes also like a uh, fuzz, which is really cool. Beautiful. Now let's take out some top end, change tubes. Awesome, let's go to 6L6s. Much more close. If this doesn't sound great, awesome, really too. I don't know what does. So I'm gonna stop here and just tell you that what, I, what I've told you before, what I've told you before about this amp, remains 
if you're buying it out of the box you're not going to get those metal tones but it does do that if you wanted to but i think this amp was designed in mind with uh, more of a rock classic thing player a guitar on the second camera cool uh in mind what was i saying okay so it doesn't mean you cannot shut with this amp you absolutely can but i believe if you take it out of a store and take it home and never connect it to an editor or usb interface or anything on any shit like that um it's going to be like um uh, i would say like uh how do you call those amps the classic really pure uh snob tube amp you know which is not tube but it sounds like that then there was a speaker is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing it sounds great and right now it's standing up in from the ground it's not totally on the ground so we also loses some bass and stuff like that and the sound is not so well defined and in my face that type of stuff really counts as well and i'm running out of battery i can see now there but i'm also speaking too much already which is pretty normal because i'm at home alone and i don't have anyone to speak of i'm just kidding okay and that's pretty much it so price point of course the katana is cheaper 50 watt is probably this amp is twice or a little bit more than the 50 watt katana that's why the katana sells so much not this one but it's very underrated amp it's grumpy's amp it's, it's absolutely amazing man you guys should buy one if you can and that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed this video and uh, many thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel also check out these amazing tuners that are usb connected or powered by and they last like a month or more than that and also that's this cool light it's actually from check it out from Roland okay has all these LEDs what the fuck am I doing and it's really cool to see at night I have two of them very very affordable like seven euros or something like that so I see you on the next one cheers